Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming out on this very special day for Warhawk Athletics. We know you're all extremely busy, and we appreciate you joining us today. My name is Chris Lindicky, and I'm the Sports Information Director here at UW Whitewater. In just a few minutes, we'll introduce Kevin Bullis as our new head football coach here at UW Whitewater. Uh, before we do that, I'd like to invite Amy Edmonds, our Director of Athletics, up to the podium for her remarks. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much for being here this morning. We greatly appreciate it. First, I'd like to start off with some thank yous uh, to our committee that worked very diligently uh, to work through the process of a search and hire here at Whitewater, so thank you. The Whitewater administrators, specifically Chancellor Telfer, for all of their support. We certainly couldn't do what we accomplished here without them. Members of our football program, I see a lot of our student athletes in here, so thank you for coming and taking the time. Alumni, friends, and the city of Whitewater, again, without all all of your support there is no way we could be accomplishing what we're doing here as an institution specifically as an athletic department in Warhawk football so thank you very much for your help throughout this transition Kevin brings amazing experience passion and a strong belief in the holistic student athlete experience and I know that he will continue to develop the program and the student athletes that are part of the process our goal remains the same we compete for conference championships one game at a time and be mentors to our student athletes that, are, that we serve. I believe Kevin can help us do all these things and continue to strive for excellence in all we do. Kevin, Kathy, Jack, Jojo, and Emmy, you've been part of the Warhawk family for some time now, and I really look forward to the future and years to come, so thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite our Chancellor, Dr. Richard Telfer, for some remarks. Good morning. I have the opportunity to talk a little bit about the history of the program, and I'm not going to say a lot about it. But this is a storied program. In the history since 1889, this program has won 670 games, lost 318, and tied 33 for a winning percentage for the history of this program of 672. That's incredible. This program has also won 34 conference titles. So it has a long history of excellence. And Kevin will be the fourth coach since 1956. Kevin is indeed the person to carry this program forward and keep it moving forward. He knows what it takes to succeed in the most competitive conference in the nation. He is, as many of you who know him know, he is not a stranger to hard work, and he is dedicated to recruiting high-caliber student athletes and helping them develop into successful men. Through their preparation, through their work on the field, through their work in the classroom, and through their work in the community. Kevin knows the history of excellence at, at this institution in the athletic program, in the academic program, and clearly in the football program. Kevin represents what it means to be a Warhawk. And now I'd like to introduce to you the 21st head coach in the history of Warhawk football, Kevin Bullis. It's truly an honor to stand here today uh, as the head football coach at UW-Whitewater. Uh, you think of the legacies that have been left here uh, by Forrest Perkins, Bob Breswitz, Lance Leopold, uh, what an amazing group. And to be mentioned in that group is, to be quite candid, uh, amazing to me. I'm still trying to grasp that a little bit in my mind. Uh, but the thing I can guarantee, those gentlemen have left an amazing legacy. And to me, the most important part is, is having respect to continue what they have already established. And that to me is the primary objective, is what they've done here to help young men through the process of being a college athlete, to being a student. That is something that will continue here at UW-Whitewater. I want to say thank you, uh, Chancellor Telfer. Uh, you know, you speak of legacies. The legacy that he'll be leaving here in his retirement is, is amazing. And, and matched by, I don't know who, but uh, it is an amazing um, appreciation that we have for what you've left us and the opportunity you've given me. 
uh, Amy Edmonds. Uh, you know, Amy has been here a long time, recently hired as our athletic director, and it's really going to be an honor to serve under you and, and your guidance. And, and you've been a great guidance, really, uh, since the transition happened with the interim and everything. And I really appreciate it and looking forward to serving under you. I also want to say thank you to the search committee. Uh, Bob Lanza uh, was the lead of that search committee. There's, uh, there's no pay in that, so the, all their time was volunteer, and the hard work they went through uh, is amazing. Uh, that, that, that being a part of that committee, um, what they did was really truly uh, impressive and, and really appreciate your leadership with that, Bob. To the players that are here, uh, fellas, uh, it's an honor. It's an honor and it's very humbling to have an opportunity to lead you guys. And the hard work that you're putting in, uh, the faith that you had in our administration, the faith you had in the search committee and the processes was awesome. There was no hitch in, in the transition that you were making um, during that time. We didn't uh, when I was the interim. And, and I'm really proud of you gentlemen and, and excited for what's in front of us for 2015. I want to say thank you to my family. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's hard to explain uh, the time that we put in as coaches. Uh, as coaches, we come to terms with it in different ways, and, and they've allowed me to do this and, and commit a lot of time working with other people, and that's ultimately why they allow me to do this, is they know that for me and, and for our coaches at this level, at Division Three, it's not about the money, it's not about the fame, it's ultimately about the young people we work with, and, and I appreciate my family giving me this opportunity to do it. I'd like to open it up for any questions. Tom. Um, you're standing in front of uh, one of the most awesome uh, national championship trophy cases in America. Is that intimidating at all to you? Well, I'll tell you, you know, that's, um, that's something that you have to come to terms with. And that's something I had to come to terms with, to be quite candid. Um, I didn't just start coming to terms with it Friday, to be quite candid. No, that's something that uh, back in December, when Lance had decided to um, take that great opportunity in Buffalo, uh, obviously the next question in my mind is, uh, do I, should I pursue the head coaching position? And to me, the big question in my mind is, was coming to terms with the, those legacies. And the thing that I ultimately came to in my mind was, it's never been about winning the national championship for us. It never has been here. I think a lot of times people assume, our, we come to the first meeting of the season and we say, let's win a national championship. We don't. Uh, in our first season, in our first meeting this fall, just like it has in the previous falls, our goal is to win the WIAC Conference Championship. That'll be the last time we even talk about it, to be quite candid. Uh, you, in essence, have to concentrate on the process. And what's the process? Uh, the young men have already started that today. They're, they're, they're in the weight room today. You know, this morning, uh, those in this afternoon, those guys are in the weight room. That's the process, is working on getting a little bit better each day. And that's what you focus on. We can't focus on the trophies. We never have. And I think that's ultimately been the secret to our success. You bet. That's, um, we're going to be able to, at this point, there's uh, four what we call full-time positions available. Um, we're presently in the process of uh, going through a search process as well with them. As of, uh, so those jobs are posted. Three of the jobs are posted today. Um, if you go on our employment website, you'll see there's an offensive coordinator position posted, defensive coordinator position, and an assistant position. Um, the other position, which is actually my old position, um, my previous uh, position here, um, you know, we're looking at an emergency hire situation with that, which uh, we'll find out here in the coming days how that's going. Um, I can tell you this, uh, I've been uh, not shocked, but very, very pleased with the outpouring of interest by some really fantastic coaches. And, and that to me is the part that's uh, really, and Lance prepared me for that. He said, just wait. He goes, you're going to be uh, very pleased with the candidates, and, and I am, to say the least. Obviously, I can't name anybody at this point because we have to go through a search process for those three positions. So 
when will it be final as far as the hiring of the assistant? That's a good question. As of the 13th, is uh, February 13th was when we'll be able to start proceeding with um, in essence, um, the, the interview processes that we have to go through uh, on campus. So we'll really start pushing forward at that time. We'll probably have a narrowed down list at that point, and uh, we'll have a committee that's going through that uh, as well, and uh, we'll all be a part of that process in, in evaluating them and finalizing it. Uh, do we have a full schedule of games for next year yet? Or do we Right now, we have nine games. Uh, we have nine games. Uh, we have uh, two potential open. You know, we got to fill one of our two open dates. So, if anybody knows anyone looking for a game on September fifth, um, <laughs> would love to uh, love to fill that date sooner than later. But we are working on that right now. To be quite candid. Can you talk a little bit about the recruitment process and how that went as in the interim time and? And how things have gone today. I tell you, we've been really fortunate. Um, we were able to get eight gentlemen out on the road recruiting for us. And that was really my first concern was, you know, how are we going to cover our regions? We split up our recruiting. Um, basically, Wisconsin, Illinois is our primary focus, um, really 200-mile radius of uh, Whitewater. And we were able to cover our regions, so we feel pretty good about it. In that sense, obviously, I think the um, you know I'm going to be candid. Uh, were families you know kind of at a pause with finalizing some decisions um, when I was the interim? Yeah, I, I, not a question. And they were candid about that. They would tell you that that you know they wanted to see who the head coach was going to be. And uh, the great thing is is we've kind of have a bit of an avalanche since Friday of people committing, and so that that's very positive. In fact, we have a. A group of uh, 17 young men on campus today, um, seeing the campus and checking it out, that we're really excited about. So we still have some more. Um, probably in the next three weeks, we'll be able to finalize our recruiting class. Coach, how much have you had a chance to talk to Coach Leipold, and uh, what was that conversation like? Did he give you any words of wisdom? I could show you about 10,000 text messages. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lance has been, um, to say the least, supportive. Wow. Uh, no, he, he's been awesome. Lance has been awesome. We've had a lot of uh, phone conversations. Um, he's very busy. I'm very busy. So it seems like we've had a running conversation on text messages over the time. And, and he's been, he was in great in the assistance of my preparation for the interview process. He was been great in my assistance in preparation during, or during the interim process. Uh, you know, even prior, you know, he was with us for, was it three weeks? Uh, you know, the, the decision came out or the announcement came out for Buffalo back in early December. And really, Lance has been uh, tutoring me since, to be quite candid, and, and preparing for this time and a lot of note taking and, and those things. So it's been a consistent flow of information. And this morning, him and I, same thing, texting. He left me a voice message about some questions. And so, you know, it, it, very fortunate. And that, that, uh, to have that type of support and mentorship from Lance to me is, is vital. And, and Coach Breswitz has, has been really helpful in that. I, you know, we're very fortunate on our staff. We have John Mish, who was a longtime head coach at UW Stevens Point. We had John O'Grady. I kind of have my Jedi counsel uh, <laughs> with that group. So uh, uh, they were really helpful. What is the number of people that are in here? I know. Tell you about Warhawk. But... It's it's very humbling time. I mean, it's it's exciting. It's it's you know, um, it's uh, that part is hard for me to talk about because it is very humbling. It is the support that we receive from our campus, from the students, uh, from our community. I mean, last night we were recognized by the city council in town and and. Uh, you know, I, I said this last night, you know, we had a game where we had 13,000 fans at the game. Wow. I mean, that, that, that is just wow. And, and that, that type of support, and this is a reflection of the type of support we have, and, and, uh, and to be respected and to be honored. Uh, that, that, that needs to be greatly appreciated by all of us. Any other questions for Coach Polis? All right. All right, thank you. All right.
Well, thank you, Kevin. Um, welcome. Uh, we're really excited to see what the future brings to us. But this does conclude the press conference, and uh, the chancellor will be joining me here in a moment. And we'll, we'll present uh, Kevin with a hat and a jersey. And so if there's anybody that would take the pictures, you'd be happy to do that. Oh. Okay, here you go. Yeah, yeah, put the hat on. <laughs> I get that little band. Thank you. 